Hi everyone, what is up? I hope you are having a great day and a good week. I wanted to talk about on this coaching call just a little bit about neuro brain health and things that you can do to naturally boost your serotonin and how that is directly linked to your mood, obviously, but also your insulin and how food choices will either make it so you're craving more or so you're hungry, like always hungry, or so you're satisfied. And so, you know, you guys know I brand myself as the spiritual fitness queen. So a lot of what I believe in getting ready to make changes is, is definitely a mental game and our thoughts and our beliefs about ourselves and just our willingness to think good thoughts and just expect results. But I also teach a lot of the tactical things, right? So like counting your macros, adhering to your nutrition 100% of the time, and you know, having one cheat day, not, I don't even like calling it a cheat day, but having one like break from your macros where you intentionally eat 40 grams more of carbs and 40 grams more of fat that I've assigned to you. So I didn't know about that like when I first got my macros from my coach. So if any of you have been in the dark about that, make sure you're doing that once a week. You're probably doing it anyway, even if you hadn't been doing it intentionally. Like if you went out to eat or something, you know, french fries have a crap ton of fat in them. Uh, you know, there's always like dressing and sauces, like that's gonna add a lot of fat. So you've probably been doing that anyway, but I want to challenge you over the next 75 days to I'm starting a new challenge and it doesn't cost anything like you just do it on your own and you can post about it but I'm going to challenge you to track your macros for 75 days the next 75 days straight no cheats however as we know like tracking our macros we can fit a lot of things in not everything so like plan it plan it plan it plan it plug it into your fitness pal see if it fits, see if you, you know, design your meals around anything like fun you're going to sneak in there. And, you know, if you want to have ice cream or something, like put it in on maybe one of those higher fat or like your break from your, your, your macro day. Doesn't mean it's a break from counting. It just means you're intentionally going over. And so anyway, I, I listened to this really good podcast this morning and I've been a fan of brain health and like improving your cognitive function and I've had to do a lot of healing for my own brain through adaptogens and like just giving my brain the right stuff, the right nutrients. And so it just reminded me of all these things and I wanted to share it with you. So one thing is once we hit 40, if you're over 40, you should, you have to be taking collagen. Like our rate of producing collagen drops like 40% or 50% once we hit 40. And Collagen, you know, is 99% of our tissues and our joints and everything is made up of collagen, our hairs, nails, our skin. And you have to be taking MCT oil as well. Like just what it does for your brain, what it does for cognition, what it does for long-term memory and preventing Alzheimer's and dementia, all of those things. And having those nutrient-dense fatty foods incorporated into your macros, incorporated into your routine. Like, I'm drinking um, collagen coffee right now that um, also has MCT in it. And it, it was just such a good reminder to know that I need to be doing this every day because I've kind of been in a bad mindset. And it's like, sometimes it's not just your feelings. Like, sometimes it's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes, like, chemically, and I'm not talking about, like, diagnosing anybody but like sometimes like chemically we're like kind of lacking you know our brains are literally starving for nutrition I talk all the time about our cells and like our body being starved nutritionally because we're not maybe getting the right amount of carbs or protein or fat but like sometimes we forget to talk about our brain and our brain runs the show right and so yeah I am just I am on a mission to increase my serotonin naturally uh you know MCT oil is going to help you do that. Collagen is going to help you just overall feel better. And what else did I want to share? You know, obviously you're going to be getting your protein in, so that's going to help. I did pick up some vitamins today at Costco. So if you think that you have, I just think everybody should take this. Of course, run it by your medical physician or whatever. But I bought ashwagandha and I also bought apple cider vinegar pills. Excuse me. 
which is really good for digestion. And if you're not like drinking ketones or taking probiotics, I really think, I mean, I'm doing both, but I really believe that you should start using apple cider vinegar pills or gummies or t I don't like to drink it straight. I'm just not gonna be consistent with it. And so my coach, when she wrote my meal plan, she actually had me taking like a shot of apple cider vinegar before every meal and I just haven't done it. So I got these pills, I loaded up my vitamins, I've got vitamin D in here. You know, I probably should get on a multivitamin, but uh, I got ashwagandha in here. And what that does is it just helps, like it's a natural stress reliever and it helps um, stabilize your cortisol, cortisol levels. And so here's the thing. The reason that this is so important, like all of this makes sense, right? But the reason this is so important is because if your brain isn't producing enough serotonin, you're, what are you going to do? Like I've been eating kind of bad the last few days and I've like not been in the best mood and I've noticed I've been like eating more, wanting sugar. Why do you think that is? Because my brain isn't producing enough serotonin for whatever reason. And so we eat, not because like something's wrong with you, but because eating and like the taste of certain things or most most things releases dopamine it releases the serotonin it makes us feel good but the thing with that is is like what does that instantly mostly sugar mostly carbs and that what that is also going to do though is it's going to spike your insulin and we know that when insulin is spiked that it, we aren't we aren't satiated our uh gremlin and leptin which is the hunger and appetite hormones aren't like they go crazy you know they're almost immediately like you get that crash and they're almost immediately needing like telling you that you're they're almost immediately telling you that you're hungry again so you know i was in this mindset of like i was talking to one of my clients and i was in this mindset of like okay let's just and she's just starting out like she's just signed up and i was like let's just focus on getting your steps in you know i finally got my Fitbit tracking again because it was like not working and I was like let's just focus for two weeks on hitting 10k steps a day send me screenshots of your step every day of your steps every day and then you know I was like okay now I gotta get my walk in because I gotta you know I gotta preach what I what I teach and then when I was on my walk I was listening to this podcast about like neuro health and serotonin and I was like oh my gosh this makes so much sense so I already had some like collagen and MCT oil stuff. So I finally went and bought a French press. Yes, I'm drinking coffee at 5 p.m. Not really sure why. I'm about to go do legs. But I feel so much better today. And because I decided to be disciplined today, even though I've been really, I don't want to say bad, but even though I've been like really not disciplined, the thing that's interesting is that we... Like the reason why 99% of people aren't going to like adhere to a program, even if they know it's the right thing, is because like you don't feel good right now. So you don't feel good enough to like change or like go move your body because it, it takes a lot. Like emotionally, it just like takes a lot, especially if you're coming from a place of like not having a lot of serotonin going on up in there. It takes a lot to like force yourself to move your body or, or like get into tracking macros if you just feel like crap. And you know, if you're if you're doing this, if you're working with me to lose weight, like you, maybe that's where you're at. Maybe you just feel like crap about yourself. So this is my hack. Let's get that serotonin pumping. Let's get it pumping. Let's get you feeling good. And then let's you know let's stay dedicated to your step daily step goal like let's go all in because when when we're we have enough serotonin we're gonna want to move i went and made sure i took a walk i felt good about it afterwards i came home or i think i made breakfast before i went and i tracked all i tracked my entire breakfast i went for a walk i came back i was like oh i'm gonna drink some mct oil today after that podcast i'm drinking it now and then before I went to the store, because I went to Costco, because I, I realized I need a meal prep. And I'm not an intense meal prepper. Like, I'm definitely a lazy meal prepper, and that's totally fine. I'm going to, I'll show you guys what I got. Um, I'm so excited. Like, this is, like, the easiest meal prep ever, but it's all really yummy stuff that I can just scan, track, and go. And so, anyway, I know I'm kind of all over the place, but I'm feeling really good about this, and I know this is going to help you a lot. Like, I know this this video is going to help you a lot. So 
yeah and then i came home before i went to to costco and i went in and i just and i knew a few things i was going to get at costco and i went into my fitness pal and i just put in everything i was going to eat for the rest of the day and then it was just so much easier to know like okay i'm going to eat this before i go grocery shopping so i'm not shopping while i'm starving and then i know i have dinner and my protein shake left and there's like nut butter in my protein shake and berries and almond milk and for dinner i'm having this kale salad that i'm gonna massage with like lemon and balsamic vinegar and avocado and kale i think i said that um and then these chicken skewers that i bought from costco and then baked sweet potato how good does all of that sound you know what i mean like i've got my treat my like protein shake or whatever um and then so i was like okay i'm gonna have two rice cakes before i go with pb2 so i can save my fat for dinner and like once you get into the momentum of momentum of this once you take care of your brain health and if you need more tips on i already recommended a bunch of different solutions ashwagandha mct collagen uh, amino acids electrolytes getting some minerals in there eating pink himalayan salt like literally just eating it out of your hand all of those things are gonna make you feel so much better are gonna make you be in the headspace like on a neuro neurological le level like not just like faking it trying to be positive on a scientific level and yeah and then also i like i said i started 75 day hard we're going to talk about that before i end this video training so hang with me okay let's 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 look at the the vitamins that i got and then i'm going to show you the food that i got so adaptogens rather than vitamins so i got ashwagandha really great prices i really recommend recommend going to costco so you take two a day and it's ashwagandha root and extract powder and supports a healthy stress response so what else do i have okay then i got the apple cider vinegar capsules i wanted to get the gummies like the golgi ones i've seen a lot of people posting about them and i love anything gummy so but they didn't have it so that's what i have and then i've got like my vitamin d because i i took a blood test if you want to know what you're actually deficient in go get a blood test from your doctor so you know how to supplement properly but um here are some of my staples so i always make sure i have frozen veggies because i'm or sorry fro frozen berries because i put berries in almost everything like my shake my oatmeal um and then i got some frozen mixed berries and then just read the ingredients look to see if it's macro friendly if there's like 20 grams of fat in it but none of you are like unless you're keto some of you are keto but most of you are not keto don't buy something like that that's just gonna make the rest of your day miserable and you're gonna have to eat like peas and freaking chicken breast for the rest of the day because you went over your fat so much. I'm telling you this from experience. So I got this, which is egg white frittatas. There's like nothing in it basically. Like it's 70 calories, um, four grams of fat, five grams of carb, five grams of protein. So like what a good little snack or for breakfast. I'm all about frozen things. <laughs> like that are healthy you know and then I, I've got like salmon burgers in here and this is the bread that I like if you eat bread this is what I like I like Dave's killer bread and it's thin slice so it's only 70 calories per slice that way I can make sandwiches at work and I got a bunch of frozen chicken breasts so that I can bake that and they're thin slice so they cook really quick so I can saute it I can bake it I can season it however I want if you're wondering why I'm like so alert right now it's because my friend showed me this coffee it's the high, like highest concentrated caf caffeine count and i think they had a lawsuit at one point i'm feeling really good <laughs> uh so what else did i get i always have salsa some of my condiments um that i love is relish so i i go in like the fancy healthy people aisle horseradish i need to go get my sauerkraut i think i left that at work um, I got some honey mustard. Like this is all stuff you'll track. Um, like ketchup. I recommend getting sugar-free ketchup. They didn't have it. So this is like half the regular sugar. It honestly tastes so much better, you guys. Like now that I eat, whenever I eat regular uh, ketchup, I'm like, what the heck is going on? 
gotta make sure my mint isn't going bad. So my boyfriend's Persian. So um, like I've got mint in here and I've got goat cheese cause goat, tree, goat cheese is really big with Persians. Um, and then I weigh all of this out. Like I'm telling you guys, macros is, is amazing. Like this is just a normal person's fridge. You know what I mean? Um, my go-to drinks, I like Zevia. Uh, they come in a bunch of different flavors. They're kind of expensive, but like, you know, health is wealth, baby. Uh, eggs are kind of hard cause they are higher in fat. So I usually just do egg whites. This is good cause I can see what's expired. Best by July. Okay, so I'm gonna, I've got some egg whites here. I like to cook egg whites into my oatmeal and then, or like I use a lot of like the premier protein, the chocolate one, and I'll pour that into my oatmeal. With most of this like tracking macros, you're gonna just have to be like sneaking protein into every single meal and like as you go and that's what i've noticed so i don't eat a ton of veggies i don't i mean yeah i don't eat a ton of veggies not like i used to and i was always bloated all the time so like just eat veggies that are lighter like bell peppers i do have i do like having dark leafy greens but i'm not going to be eating it at every single meal if if you want to do that just track it if that works for you and that's okay on your digestion totally do it like this is for this is for your preference so I got this pre-made chicken grilled chicken strips and again I can just scan that and then I weigh out my little serving or however much I decide to have and for lunch I decided that sandwiches are so easy so I'm just gonna like make a sandwich every day at work and then I also got these basil chicken sausages and the macros are pretty good on this it's only 160 calories one carb, 16 protein, and nine fat. So like not too high on the, on the fat. And then I bought like, I'm gonna have to eat mad amount of sandwiches or like snack on this meat for a minute because it's just me right now. Oh crap. So I got turkey, honey, ham, and turkey breast. I meant to get roast beef. Anyway, so that's what I got. Again, I could just scan it. I might be making my coworkers freaking sandwiches at work now and then I usually get a cheese that's not super high in fat I don't know what I did with my cheese like, I mean goat cheese is for like salads and stuff I've got I usually do mozzarella or provolone I don't think I have any provolone June 20th okay I'm gonna eat that these are probably bad Sorry guys, I'm literally like cleaning up my fridge as I'm doing that. So I'm juicing some celery um, tonight and some green peppers and then I'm probably gonna saute these up because they're almost bad. Rutabaga, rutabaga I've been sleeping on. Rutabaga is so good. Okay, here's what it looks like cooked. So easy, right now you're, you're gonna love me. So you just um, peel this. I just like peel it with a knife, it's really easy or a potato peeler. You cut it up like you're gonna boil potatoes same exact little chunks, boil it until they're soft, like potato consistency, and then you can mash it. And we like to add goat cheese, salt and pepper, and that's pretty much all I add to it. You can add butter if you want, and it tastes so good. It tastes so good as a side with like steak or something. I don't know why I just showed you that onion. But yeah, so that's what I'm working with right now. I've got almond milk on deck always. I have some more in my car. Got some Brussels. Here's my little veggie door, drawer. So this will be for sandwiches. I'll take that to work tomorrow. And I think I'm, I'll probably put a cucumber in my salad, lemons for dressing always, lime, and I've got some Brussels sprouts that I'm gonna bake. So yeah, that's really what my fridge looks like. I always have rice cakes on hand. I like the caramel corn rice cakes, but they were out of them. So right now I just have brown rice ones. PB2 fit because sometimes I like, I, I like fat, so I can go over fat if I'm not careful. So I like that because there's only like two grams of fat per serving. Um, paleo pancake waffle mix. And then I actually, the, the way that I sneak protein into that and I bought that brand because the macros are good on it. Uh, the way that I sneak protein into that is I just, I literally add a scoop of my pro, this is the protein I've been drinking. So yeah, some things to make 
Oh, here is the um, collagen and the MCT oil that I was telling you about. I have a link for this if you want. It's just easier and it tastes good. Some of that collagen stuff is like kind of tastes kind of chalky, but I like that one. So salad toppers, hemp seed, you know, I got the essentials, balsamic vinegar, uh, white wine vinegar, olive oil. I don't really, I try not to use too much oil. I got all my nut butter. Yeah, so that's pretty much, I got my sweet potatoes that I'm baking tonight that I told you about. I think I told you about the bread that I like, yeah. So that is a look into my kitchen and how I'm planning to meal prep. As you can see, it's super, super, super simple. So I think that's pretty much all for today's training. If you have specific questions about how things are, oh, let's talk about 75 hard. So I, like I told you, I haven't been feeling very motivated or very inspired, very passionate to continue reaching towards my goals. And, you know, I've had a lot of things that have changed. I've been, yeah, doing long distance with my boyfriend because his dad was sick. His dad passed away three days ago. And... He was here for two days and he moved all of his stuff in and then flew back to try to catch his dad before he passed away, but he didn't make it and he didn't make it in time to see him. So I, yeah, I've just been here alone in my apartment and it's beautiful, but I've been just not feeling inspired. And I realized like, I don't want to just like kind of go towards my goals. I. I realized this on my walk today. I don't want to just like kind of get better. I want to ex exponentially get better. So if you're with me on that, this is why I decided to do the 75 day challenge or it's just called 75 hard. So 75 hard, I think was put out by f like first form. It's some supplement company. Anyway, a lot of people have been doing it. You might've seen people doing it online and a few people in the, community one of the communities I'm a part of have been doing it and have done it and I just like watched from the sidelines thought about starting it but made a lot of excuses and some of those excuses were like okay so part of 75 hard is you do two workouts a day both are 45 minutes each one has to be outside and I consider my walk a workout and then the other one has to be like in the gym or like strength training at home or something. I guess you could do them all outside. I'm sure that's fine, it, you know, since the weather is nice. But, and then a gallon of water a day, unless you're like 4'11", then you probably should not drink that much. I have a client that that's, that is that tall and like feels sick when she drinks a gallon. And I was like, that's way too much water for you. But anyway, so what else is it? 10 minutes a day in a nonfiction personal development book on entrepreneurship or something of the sort. And I think, I think everyone should be reading entrepreneur books because it like being an entrepreneur is really hard and you have to have a lot of discipline. And when I don't have discipline, I feel bad about myself. I don't, I don't feel in a good mood like I was talking to you about. And so you know, I really have found like discipline gives me freedom. It makes me feel so much better when I have a strict, like when I'm strict and there's always going to be times. It doesn't mean we can't have fun. I have more fun when I'm being disciplined. I really do. And you know, this, you're doing things the right way. This isn't like, you're not going to be starving. You're not, you know what I mean? So I think sometimes our brains tell us that like, this is bad for us but it's not, you know, you're doing it the right way. You're, you know, you're getting healthier, you're getting movement in. So anyway, back to 75 hard. So it's those two workouts a day, 10 minutes in a personal development book, an hour or a gallon of water a day and a progress photo every single day for 75 days. No cheats, tracking your macros. That's what I'm doing. You, you can pick any way of eating. Like if you're doing keto, you can do keto with no, no cheats for 75 hard, however long. So I posted my first photo today on my Instagram and that's where I'm going to be sharing it. And I'm excited for this because it's like, I need something like this in my life right now. And I've just been making excuses like, oh, I'm a full-time student. Oh, I have two businesses. Oh, I work 30 hours a week on top of all this. And I'm in a relationship and I just moved. I do have a lot on my plate, but I know that there's people out there who are probably busier than me that are still crushing 
75 hard. So I'm doing it while utilizing everything I know that works, you know, the macros, the fitness plan that my coach designed for me, use your fitness plan that I've given to you for the week. And, you know, share that you're doing it, tag me on social media. So yeah, anyway, that is why I'm doing it and I'm excited. I shared the other day in the spiritual fitness queen group, I don't know if you're in there, but that I don't like challenges and like, I don't like the word challenge. And I think that comes from like when I was a beach body coach, it was always like a new challenge or a new challenge group. And the truth is, is I think I've just been avoiding it because I know that it's what I need this, this 75 hard. They actually don't call it a challenge. Like it's more of a mindset shift than like a health and fitness thing. It's more about just like learning to be disciplined. So if you want to read more about it, I don't know a ton about it. That's all I know, but I'm sure there's better information out there. And yeah, I just wanted to encourage you guys and let you know that you can totally do this. You can do a quick Costco run. I ended up going to two grocery stores cause I needed to get a French press and stuff, but and a few other things but yeah you can do this you can make it easy you can plan your meals ahead you've got all of your numbers get a scale if you don't have one yet measure as you go bring your scale to work you know I'm just bringing all my sandwich fixings to work and I'm going to make my sandwich there I'm going to do my walk my 45 minute walk on my lunch break and then like the last 15 minutes I'll eat or something or sometimes I can sneak away and eat even if it's not my lunch so that's how I'm doing it. After work, I'm going to do my lifting. My boyfriend won't be home for like 25 days while he's with his family. So we'll see what this 25 days brings. We'll see what these 75 days bring. And I'm just so excited for you guys to, to see you guys and to see you show up for yourself. And I believe in you. And we got this. Let's get sharded together. And if you have more questions, like I said, shoot me a message.